I first met Dean not long after my father died. I was a young writer trying to take off. Dean just raced in society. He had just married a 16-year-old chick named Mary Lou. With the coming of Dean Moriarty began the part of my life you could call my life on the road. To the old men and to the West. Yes, yes, yes! Bless me, Father, for I will sin. Why do you find such absolutely wonderful people? Hop in, water's fine. Don't do anything I want to do. Guy, help me. These people are mad. He does not feel responsibility towards others. I don't know what's wrong with me. I do all these dumb things. And I think in all these distorted ways. You know, I'm burning up. You're sick of me, and you're sick of work. I'm scared I'm going to lose all the wisdom I ever learned, so. I never want to see you. The end of the world will start here, in Texas. Somehow, Dean reminded me of some long-lost brother. I began to learn from him as much as he probably learned from me. And I shambled after as usual as I have done my whole life after the people that interested me. Because the only people that interest me are the mad ones. The ones who are mad to live, mad to talk, desirous of everything at the same time, the ones that never yawn or see a commonplace thing, that burn.